All righty, everybody come on in and find a seat. We're going to get started this evening, and uh, welcome to spring. <laughs> Not to be confused with February. Yes, sir. So, good, e good evening. I, I thought uh, good morning because in the Philippines, uh, you know what, in the Philippines, we are 12 hours ahead in your country. That's why when the Lord Jesus Christ came, we will see it, him first. Because uh, we are 12 hours behind. But, but, but anyway, I feel home in this church. Because since 2008, the Lord uh, uh, direct me in this church. And the pastor gave me an opportunity to to share the burden uh, in our uh, in our people to the Philippines. So, my dear friends and my dear brethren, this is our heart desire, is to glorify God. Because uh, not, nothing highest are than this, but this is the highest and this is our, uh, our desire to glorify our God. And, uh, this is my family. I know, uh, very small. But, uh, but anyway, this is our family. My, my eldest son is JV. He is now 16 years old. And he's now uh, my, our guitarist in the church. And the second one is 14 years old. is JV, JC. And he's our bass guitarist in our church also. And our cute little daughter in the middle. So, she's LJ, and uh, L you know LJ, I believe this church pray a lot our little daughter, because since 2008, she got open heart surgery twice, and last 2013, she got also another, uh, w we thought that that is a final operation, but after the operation, it's still the same, the heart rate is so high, and Unless that our daughter take, took the medicine for the heart rate, so the heart is controlled. But if not, so it's still not good. But by the grace of God, she's now 10 years old. Since 2008, she got, she, uh, our daughter uh, born was uh, 2007, December, uh, to December 6, 2007. And since, since now, and she's... Uh, Having a, a good uh, boys, just like her mom. So there, there, there's, he, he, he loves singing in the church. He loves, he loves sing to the, she loves, she loves to sing to the church. So, and our joy as a family, and by the way, uh, our joy in our family is to serve God. That is our joy. So even though this time, uh, our children is in the Philippines, and not easy to, to do that with uh, me and my wife, because we love them so much. But this is uh, what Apostle Paul says, that the suffering of a missionary. <laughs> and uh, by the way, uh, the Lord is good to us, truly, when we uh, arrived in, the, in L.A. So just two questions of, uh, of the consul. He said, uh, what is your purpose to this trip? Vacation, sir. I, <laughs> so that, that is what I, I said. Vacation, sir. So <laughs> how much your money? 300, sir. And that's it. And come on. I don't want to see you. <laughs> so so and, and that is what the Lord God uh, did to us. Thank you all for your prayers. And thank you for all your prayers. I know... The reason why it's so easy to enter in your country because there's a living God that always help his man or his servant. So, and that is the good thing. So, thank you, thank you so much. And that is our joy. So, now, the, the second, the third page. Uh, just five minutes, Pastor. So, the, <laughs> the, the Lord is so good to us because since 2008, this church never stopped supporting his mission in the Philippines. Amen. You always send your love to us. 
the reason why uh, we don't want to uh, uh, to be full in that uh, money of the Lord. And we start doing churches, planting churches after planting churches to the village in the Philippines. The soul winning and then discipleship and then training the national. And then uh, because of that, 2008, the Lord gave us a property, a place that we can start our first mission work in this place, in Barangay Sinait. And then after uh, 2005, 2008, we start another one in, the, in this one. So in Mapalad. So believe it or not, the word Mapalad is Tagalog uh, word. But the English word is blessed. Blessed place. Because the Lord Jesus Christ is there. When, when, when the gospel of the Lord shared to the people, the Lord Jesus Christ is there right now. That's why they are blessed now, not mapalad, blessed. And, and the third thing, the third is in uh, this one, this one, this. Okay, so <laughs> uh, my, my wife a uh, little bit confusing. So this one, uh, we start 2011, the, the Fundamental Independent Baptist Church in Amakalan. And, and that is the, the church that we, uh, we're now uh, pastoring. I'm now pastoring in two churches right now. In this one, in Amakalan, we start last 2011 just like our main church pastor. I told to all of my uh, co-pastors, this is our main church. So I will, I will, I will uh, live in this church and I will uh, uh, look forward to the God-sized vision of the Lord. And if the Lord gave me, so I, will, I want to put the, the vision of the Lord in this place. So, Amakalan, 2011, and 2014 in FIPCT Matapitap. So, so the, the Fundamental Independent Baptist Church, we put the, the uh, after we, uh, we put it, the Fundamental Independent Baptist Church, the last is the village name. So, Matapitap is, that is a village name. So, this is our fourth mission work, and our uh, last 2016, the Lord again, when uh, uh, the Lord again uh, helped us to start another one in FIBCT Matayong Cab. And that is along our area. Uh, the pastors know it. So, uh, our travel in, in the Philippines is, it depends. It depends of traffic condition. It depends of the, the uh, maybe the cow is there and you cannot uh, go on the road. So, it depends. But too close, very close, maybe 20 miles away from uh, each other. So something like that. So, and, and this is it. Because our time right now, we're praying for three months only to stay in your country. Because it's hard to stay for uh, too long. Our family is in the Philippines. Our ministry is in the Philippines. A lot of people will uh, miss me. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, be because I got a lot of work in the Philippines, uh, brothers and sisters of the Lord. So I work in Bible study of, uh, in the community. Pastor, preach in that community, and almost 50 got saved Amen. when pastor preached in that community. We call that Bible study community. And of course, not only that, the YDS, I got a youth uh, ministry also to the community. And the government opened many doors, many windows in, uh, in our place. So me and mayor is like this. So we friends, even though uh, uh, I'm not look like uh, gov uh, official government, but uh, we're friends by the grace of God. And because of that, he said, uh, Pastor Jess, you can, you can do your, your ministry in every village. And we have 44 villages in, the, in, the, in our area. We have 44 villages. The reason why the Lord, I believe the Lord gave this vision to us. Because right now in our area, I have five, uh, I have five right now. And then some of our uh, pastors that uh, in that around, right now we have 13 churches in that area, in Hirona. 
and that is the town of Herona. And you know what? Uh, I was an architect by profession. So I draw this, this uh, building. I don't think if that is a building, but uh, this is a building, a hall. So we're praying for multi-purpose hall this time. Because in our discipleship training, we have 150 young people. And there are so many. And when, when you got a little bit of a space, that is not enough to do, to, uh, to do that. And also, if we have an a anniversary, young people fellowship, uh, ladies fellowship, uh, men's fellowship, so our, our church is not enough. The reason why I, 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 I pray to the Lord, Lord, give me a vision that can I help all the people in our area. And I'm looking forward to see 1,200 people in one time. So maybe you, you, you think that I'm crazy, but uh, that is what the Lord put in my heart. Because I saw it. I saw it that the people in the Philippines, they are so open right now in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have a lot of uh, uh, leaders, they can easily invite those people in one place. But the problem, we have no place to accommodate those people. The reason why the Lord put the, in my heart this kind of building. The building is 12,900 square foot. It's accommodate for 12, uh, 1,200 people in one time. And uh, you know what? Please do pray for us. Because, and this is the finale. Right now, we are praying for 1,500 people. Pray. You can pray for us, or you is the one that uh, can help us to do this. We are praying for 1,500 people that can give only 100 and after that, we can purchase the property. We can, I can build the building because the building, so not a not problem for, for us, for me, because I was an architect. I can draw the, the whole thing. All the paperwork was free, and I can challenge our people to help me in labors. And right now, before we leave, I share this, uh, this uh, uh, vision to our people. And right now, believe it or not, our people, most of them are farmers. Mo, uh, uh, some of them are street vendors. They're selling uh, chicken feet, everything in the streets. And some are construction workers. And their salary is just only 5 to $10. It depends. If you are in good skill, you got $10 per day. Not per hour, just per day. You need to, 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 to fool the eight hours before you get your salary. But I challenge them. If I will challenge our brethren in the United States to give, we need to give also. We need to give also. And I told to them, if we can find 150 people that can give 1,000 pesos, the same of our want to raise in the, in the U.S., I believe the Lord will give it because He's the one that will give in this need. So please do pray and maybe the Lord uh, uh, touch your heart. So right now, because I've been in, in North Carolina and we have now uh, $1,200 that uh, uh, give in this, uh, in this pro project. So what we're praying is 1488 right now. So so and uh, please do pray for us because I know this is not uh, an easy task that the Lord uh, uh, give give to me, gave to me. But what I'm praying if one of you can give not to, not tonight but before we leave because we have three months to stay here. 
and tell this uh, in this our, our desire to glorify the Lord. So so I believe before we leave, the Lord will give everything. So to God be the glory and may the Lord God bless you all. We love you so much. Amen. And uh, it's just an exciting place to go. Amen. And, uh, I tell you, it's uh, the, the, the guys who are pastoring his churches, they are on fire. They're excited. And uh, it was just a blessing to go to each of these villages and see the folks gather. And they are hungry for the gospel. They really are. And they're open. They listen. And uh, God's going to do some great things. He is doing great things. And I think even greater things are in store. And where there is no vision... The people perish, and uh, thank God for his vision tonight. That's, that's marvelous, and uh, I'm sure we're going to help with some of that, Brother Quilly. I'll guarantee it, and uh, that'd be exciting. And then you're, you're buying the land. Do you have the land to build the building on? Uh, right now, Pastor, uh, the whole, whole amount is the land and the building. Land in the building, and if I add that up, that's $150,000. Wow. Wow. That's great. We couldn't even build a building for that, not let alone buy the land for that as well. That's just phenomenal. That's great. And uh, it's amazing. And I was telling Brother Yoder, the church, uh, Pastor, is it Aldrin? Uh, yeah, the, the church we went and looked at that they were just working on, that's open now, and they're having services in there. I saw pictures of that. That's phenomenal. Just, just phenomenal. They have a plan that he is a building he's drawn up that they build kind of the pattern for their churches i think it's seventy five hundred dollars and they build a church uh and you imagine and uh just 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 tremendous so uh thank you so much that's that's outstanding boy isn't that good and uh that's great great I don't think I realized that it would have been 10 years, 2008, since you were here, and uh, that's amazing. And I remember uh, the night he came, and, and Brother Taylor, you correct me if I'm wrong, but I think when he came, I think you're one of the ones who came to me after the service, and you said, if we don't take him on, that you'd take him on. That, uh, isn't that, wasn't, that the, wasn't he the one? I think it was. And uh, so... I said, no, I think God's already spoken to our heart about that, and uh, what, a, what a great thing the Lord's doing in 10 years, and uh, it was such a, such a blessing to come and to see it and to see what you're doing firsthand and to visit the churches, and uh, I'm excited about what the Lord has uh, done in you and through you, and uh, this, this fellow's a preacher. Uh, we would preach, I, I tell you, I'd preach and preach my heart out, and everybody would look at me. Then Brother Quilly would get up, and man, here they come. They'd pile out of there and come to the altar and get saved and make decisions. And I think, man, he's got it, buddy. And uh, I'm, I'm, I was looking forward to having him come and you, you hearing him preach this evening. So Brother Quilly's going to come, get your Bible ready, and uh, he's going to bring us a message from God's Word tonight, okay? Good evening. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. And it's good to be saved. And that is the good thing. Because uh, I'm a Filipino. I believe. You see my color? This is how. This color is well done. Amen? I, I like that color. Well done. But anyway, let us open our Bible in. Oh. Ten years ago, I'm not using glass, but this time I need it. Ah, I believe I'm old. I, I, I'm 45, and I look like 44, I'm old. <laughs> so, let us, let us open our Bible in 2 Kings, 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 7, 2 Kings chapter 7, from verse 1 up to verse 10. So, the Bible says, in verse 1, Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. 
Thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measure of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Then the Lord of whose hand the king Lin answered the men of God and said, Behold, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, might these things be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but shall not eat thereof. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this great opportunity once again to preach your word. I pray, dear God, that continue to, to be with us. Oh, Holy Spirit, give, the, give us, Lord, wisdom and understanding. Oh, dear God, use thy word to encourage us to, to uh, have a power to, to do something for you, Lord. Dear God, I pray that continue to bless this church, continue to, pr that, to bless Pastor uh, Stan and his family, and all the members of this church, and even though our friends that are here tonight. Dear God, speak thy word to us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So, this is the story of the man of God telling what happened tomorrow. And sometimes... Uh, most of the time, the people cannot understand what happened tomorrow. But according to, to, to the word of God, because the Israelites this time, they are in famine. And believe it or not, they cook their own children. They cook. In the Philippines, we ate only dog, not children. Oh, 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 you look at me and said, <laughs> I don't want to bite you. I have a lot of dogs. <laughs> so, before, I eat dog in the Philippines. When I'm not saved, pastor, I eat dog. Promise. But when I got saved, the Lord blessed my life. No dog anymore. Hot dog is good. <laughs> and that is what we eat right now. We eat hot dog, not dog. Because the Lord bless you. The reason why I know, the reason why the American never eat dog, because you're so blessed. Amen? You love your dog, you hug your dog, you kiss your dog. Oh. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> so, but anyway, brothers and sisters in the Lord, that is the situation. The situation is very, very. Oh no. We are in the third country. We saw a lot of. Hungry people. We saw a lot of hungry children. But in this situation, this is very worse. Because they ate their own children. But the good thing, here's the man of God. Amen? The man of God say the truth, but nothing but the truth. Just only the truth. Because he saw, he, what he said is the word of God. Not his word, but not my word, not the preacher's, pastor's word, but the word of God. And the word of God says, Eliza, hear ye the word of the Lord, thus saith the Lord, tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel and to measure of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Tomorrow, all our sales. From 100, you can buy 50 cents. Wow, what a blessing. And that is what the, the Lord God says, what the, the man of God says. All our sales, just a shekel. You can, you can, you can get your fine flour, just a shekel. And that is the good thing. You know, I love, I love, uh, um, I love the, when, when you go to, to shopping, I love, I love discount. And I love also uh, the, the, the one that like this. Huh? When, when you go to shopping and then you buy shoes for a dollar, oh, what a good thing. That's why I love your dollar store. <laughs> I love your dollar store. Hoping that in the Philippines we have dollar store. 
We can buy a dollar for a share. Wow, what a blessing. You know what? So, here. Here's the, 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 the message tonight. The Lord used poor leprous men. These poor leprous men that hungry outside the camp of the, of the uh, Israelites because they are leprous. They, have, they, they are not allowed to come to their place, to, to their, to inside the camp, because they are le leprous, just like us. We are sinners, but thank God we saved by the grace of God. And this poor leprous man, you know what, number one, they think positive. When you are in the situation, that uh, a hard situation, please think positive. Because this poor leprous man, what the Bible says in verse 3, and there were four leprous men at the entering in of the gate. And they said one to another, why sit we here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city. And we shall die there. And if we sit still here, we die also. Now, therefore, come and let us fall unto the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. And that is right. Because life is short. Death is sure. Sin is the curse. But Christ is the, is the cure. And these poor leprous men, they think positive and accept the possibility. When they go to the, to the enemies and they kill the, them, of course, all of us will die. Because according to the Bible, the wages of sin, the wages of sin is death. The reason why we will die all, even though you are strong right now, but tomorrow, you cannot tell. Maybe tomorrow, you will uh, forget to how to breathe. And then you die. And that is a situation of mankind. That's why we need to think positive. If we will sit there, sit here, we will die. If we will go outside, inside, oh, the famine is there. According to the to the, to the uh, previous uh, uh, word of God, they said, or they, they cook their their own kids inside. So the reason why think positive, accept the possibility, because the wages of sin is death. All we're going to die one day. The second thing, you know what? I, I love to preach. Because blessed is a man that preached so, then he will invite it again. So I want to invite it again one time again here. So, so the Bible says, oh, you don't understand. Thank you so much. So the Bible says in verse in, in 5, and they rose up in the twilight to go unto the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of the Syria, behold, there was no man there, for the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel had hired against us the king of the Hittites and the king of the e Egyptians to come upon us. Wherefore, they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses, even, even the camp as it was and fled for their life and when this leper came to the uttermost part of the camp they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried then silver and gold and raiment and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried them also and went and hid it what a situation I like this situation but before you reach this situation number one you need to think positive first Second, do in action. Do in action. Because these poor leprous men, they don't like, not also, they don't, uh, 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 they don't uh, think uh, positive only. But when they think positive, they do in action. Because according to the Bible, they arose. 
And when they arose, they go to the camp of the enemies. Even though they know there's a risk over there, they can kill uh, of their, their enemies. But they, 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 they think positive. Amen? They think positive. They believe. Huh? The reason why believe, have faith, because have faith is to believe, is to see. In the Philippines, a lot of Filipinos, they see, uh, th their belief is to see, is to believe. The reason why we got a lot of uh, uh, idols in, in, in our churches over there, in, in the Catholic churches, they got, they got a lot of idols because to see is to believe. They want to see that, that, uh, that uh, uh, idols crying and with, with the blood because they say, oh, that one uh, make miracle because they cry with the, with, with, with the blood. But that is not the real faith. The real faith is to believe, is to see. You need to believe first and see the goodness of the Lord in your life. Do it action. And that is what the, 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 the poor leprous man did. They arose and ran and, and walked even though I don't, I don't, I don't know what, what happened to, to this because they, they, they are, they are uh, in, 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 in trouble. You know, they are hungry and they, they got a lot of sores, a lot of uh, uh, wound. And, and I believe they, they crawling, crawling, going to, to, to that uh, camp. But thank God because the Lord said, I never leave you nor forsake you. And that is the good thing. If you are in the side of the Lord, you are in the winning side. Amen? And, and not only that, last but not the least, the Bible says in verse 9, Then they said one to another, We do not well. What? We do not well. They eat. When you eat, that is not well. I believe when you eat, oh, that is well. Because when they go to the camp, they see the, the, the chicken, hum, chicken, hum. And then they, they, see the, they see the rice, oh, rice. Oh, that is only the Filipino. But uh, they, they, they see a, a lot of, uh, you know, they see a lot of food. And they eat and eat and eat and eat. And they see the silver and gold, oh, silver and gold and raiment, a beautiful raiment. And they get it and then hit it. And that is what the Bible says. They hit, they get it and they hit it. But they said, we do not well. Only us? How about them? Only us? How about the Filipinos? Amen? We do not well. You know what? The Lord blessed this country so much. I saw in my eyes. I saw in my eyes. Because I live in the Philippines. But the good thing, these poor leprous men, they share their blessing. They think positive, do in action, and they share their blessing. That's why they said, then said one to another, we do not dwell. This day is the day of a good fighting, and we hold our peace. If we tarry till the morning light, some mischief will come upon us. Now therefore, come that we may go and tell the king's household. We thank God because one day the American missionary came to our place and they, and they shared the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when they shared the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, one of us got saved and that, got, and that people got saved in the Philippines. You know what? They shared the gospel to the lost Filipinos. And right now I got saved by the grace of God. Because one of you came to us. Thank you so much. We love your General MacArthur. That is our American hero in time of battle. He said to us, I shall return. And he did. He did. He landed in, in, in Mactan, in, somewhere in Cebu. And he got a statue over there with the American troop. He did. And also the Lord Jesus Christ. Woo! When he said, Brother and sister, the Lord, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He did. And that is the good thing. You know what, brother and sister, the Lord, what is the 
bottom line of this, this word of God. I believe we need to listen to the man of God. Don't neglect the word of God from the man of God. Because the porter, the one that uh, uh, in the gate, he said, you will see the blessing, but you will never taste. Because according to the Bible, when the people saw bands of, uh, bands of uh, food, oh boy, they're running and running and they stamped. This guy stamped and died. He saw the bands of food, but he never tasted. Because he never believed that the Lord can open the windows in heaven. Imagine this. How many windows in this church? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine windows. But only one door going out. Because the Lord wants to pour out many blessings to us. And to God be the glory. Let's stand together for a word of prayer, shall we? Heads are bowed and eyes are closed. I'm going to pray in just a moment. Just heard from a fellow who said that he was saved because somebody didn't keep it to himself. In fact, that's probably why you're saved, is because somebody didn't keep it to themselves. We do not well when we've been blessed and we don't pass that on to somebody else. Is there somebody you should be telling? Is there somebody you should be giving the gospel to? Who knew when that missionary went, whoever he was, and saw those folks saved that he had no idea that down the road here, Jess Coelho would get saved. And now look at the churches that have been started and the others who've been saved and the literally thousands of people that have come to know Christ. Do you, will you act in faith? Will you trust God? Oh, God would never use me. If he could use four leprous men, I suppose he'd use you and me. I wonder tonight how many folks would say, Preacher, God has spoken to my heart tonight. I do not well. I need to tell others of the gospel of Christ. What the Lord has done for me, I need to tell someone else what he can do for them. Pray for me tonight, Pastor. Would you slip your hand up, Christian? Amen. Amen. Oh, that you get the excitement and get the joy this man had. Amen. That's good. You may put him down. Father, thank you for this evening. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to our hearts tonight. Thank you, Lord, for the great gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for so great of salvation that each of us has this evening. We have been extremely blessed. And, Lord, thank you for the challenge this evening set forth by Pastor Kawili. Lord, I pray that when we're, we tend to just keep it all to ourselves, that we would hear those words that the lepers spoke. We do not well. We do not well. Lord, I pray that we would take the gospel and we'd give it to others. We would tell them of Jesus and how they can know they can have eternal life. Lord, thank you again for the Coelis. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in their life. Thank you for the vision you've given to him. Again, God, I'd ask that you would watch over them as they travel, as they go from church to church and report to some uh, supporting churches and possibly be into some churches that might still take them on for support as they endeavor to raise the funds for this new building they'd like to build that will help them to disciple many of their young people for Christ. I pray, Lord, you'd meet that need. Lord, take care of them, and I pray, God, that you'll continue to use them in a great way for your honor and for your glory. And it's in Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Amen. Well, let's sing together, shall we? We're going to sing Every Day with Jesus is Sweeter Than the Day Before, 498. And uh, we'll have um, Brother, Brother and Mrs. Coelho uh, 
Brother Moreland, help them get to the back there, will you? And uh, that way when folks go out, they can shake your hand and, and meet you. And uh, thank you for the message tonight, brother. That was wonderful. Praise God. All right. You go right on back. The the ugliest guy you see back there, you go where he is, all right? <laughs> yeah. They all start pointing at each other. <laughs> I was going to say the guy with no hair, but then he'd really be in a dilemma. So, <laughs> All right. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. 498 if you need it, all right? Let's hear you sing it. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus saves and keeps me, and he's the one I'm waiting for. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. God bless you. You're dismissed. Choir, you'll come on up for practice. <laughs>